Yo, what's up guys and welcome to my UUPL finals. This is for a Smogon uh, tournament. It's the uh, underused Premier League. It's kind of like SPL, but just for a specific tier. And uh, my team is in finals. I'm on Fuga's team alongside Blunder and Tony Flygon. So with all the friends, I really, I really love that. And uh, yeah, also by the way, um, Subhub will be up later today. That is actually just rendering right now as I record this. So I figured I could record this without editing it. And then Subhub is already edited and everything, so it's just rendering. And then I'll have that uploaded for you guys to enjoy later. But I figured because this was finals, I might as well show you the match. I'm playing Sniper, or Sniper Aim, who is actually um, a subscriber of mine. Uh, and he said I got him into competitive, so that was really cool to be able to play somebody who made it to the finals as well His team made it to finals as well. Like oh, that's so cool that I might have influenced that or had a little bit of an influence on that But my team I built with Tony flag on uh, that's probably been the most fun part of UUPL Just building with Tony and calls because we get to use whatever we want Usually tosses on a Snorlax because Snorlax is probably the best Pokemon in black and white UU Especially because Chandler was banned. Uh, Victini being another one of the best Pokemon in Black and White UU, as well as Raikou. Electric types and Victini. Snorlax, definitely the best mons I feel in Black and White UU. But uh, again, this is 5th gen, and uh, my team was based around SD Gliscor Pass to Sharpedo. Sharpedo has Earthquake, Crunch, and Waterfall. So immediately a team preview, I knew that once I passed it a Swords Dance, and if I got rid of him on top, I could sweep his team. However, I also noticed that my Life Orb HP Grass Raikou destroys his team. All I need is a bit of chip damage on Zapdos, maybe like 5% off on Rhyperior, that way I 100% knock it out. Uh, also about 30% off on Victini, and I need him on top to be at about half if I want to sweep him with that. Uh, I do have also a max defense Shaman on this team, which was supposed to be my Verizion counter. We actually calc that I take plus two close common, knock it out with Air Slash, yada yada yada. But, um... Uh, that can also put in a lot of work just because he has nothing to avoid the Leech Seed. And my Cursed Snorlax actually 6 0s him as well. Uh, his only way of beating it is potentially Trick on Victini, critting it with Close Combat, and maybe me not getting Paras with Body Slam on Zapdos to Rhyperior to maybe Quillfish Pivots if he has Roar on uh, Rhyperior. But uh, unfortunately, I messed up the... Um, the nature on my Snorlax and I noticed it as we were playing the game and that really sucks and you'll see why But uh, in any case I decided to leave off my Snorlax because it beats Victini lead beats Togekiss beats Zapdos and beats Quillfish as a lead As my opponent decides to lead off with the one Pokemon that actually beats Snorlax which is Rhyperior Doesn't necessarily beat it but I do need to weaken it so I'm gonna switch out into my Shaman Knowing that I could take any hit he wants to go for and just throw off Leech Seeds He does choose to get up his Stealth Rock that's completely fine Had he been a Choice Banner Rhyperior with the Mega Horn that also would not have been able to knock me out. It would have been able to knock out a regular Shaman, but like I said, I'm very, very defensive Shaman. Uh, so I'm going to go for Leech Seed. He does have three good switch ins, being Togekiss, Zapdos, and Victini. So I'm able to catch the uh, Togekiss upon switching. Now, because I do have uh, Raikou in the back as well as Snorlax, that could be pretty solid switch ins to Togekiss. Essentially free with the Life Orb, since obviously with the resistance, I'd be able to take Air Slash and be covered back with the Life Orb. Uh, I actually decided to go for Seed Flare, uh, Seed Flare, excuse me, expecting him to want to switch out to double, predicting my. Um, Raikou is he does double out into Victini now I do have protect on this uh, Shaman I am leech seed protect so he goes for the u-turn I'm not sure if he's choice or not but if he's not choice basically if he revealed that he switched up moves right there curse lex won 100% so that's why I was I decided to play very aggressive with this Shaman basically if he switched the moves and went for v-create and I lost Shaman I just went with curse lex he literally can't beat it his only way of beating it would be at the trick it with Victini so uh, I actually predict him to um, either double or just go right for that U-turn. I knew I would take it even if it was Choice Bandit. I unfortunately missed the Leech Seed on the Zapdos as I am going to go for a double Leech Seed. Uh, he expects either my Needle Queen or my Snorlax or even my Gligar to come out and that's why I'm playing very aggressive with this Shaman because I know that one, he's a good player and two, that he has to double unless he wants to give me rocks or anything like that. So I go for Protect on his double into Quillfish as um, I think he expected my Snorlax to want to come out. That way he can potentially try and spike up on me which I completely understand with um, I'm basically playing my shaman as if I do not care I don't I don't care about this shaman at all so I go for seed flare on his quillfish switch as I am able to weaken these Zapdos and I do find out that he has life orb right here which is perfect because all I needed was a bit of prior damage on Zapdos anyway in order to deal with it with my um, Sharpedo so now I know that also he is worn down to the point where Raikou can knock it out with Thunderbolt so I go for protect because if he did go for roost I still got back a good amount of HP with the leech seed and leftovers as he doubles out to his Victini now had I not been a defensive shaman 
this U-turn would have done a hell of a lot more than it did. As you can see, I tank it because I am defensive, and I'm able to go for a lead sheet right here, either catching the hit on top or Zapdos, whatever he wants to go out into. As he ends up going out to hit him on top, I understand that because he can rapid spin away my hazards, but it is still just giving me HP. Um, now, I do have Air Slash on this Shaman. Like I said, it was for um, Verizion, so I decided to go right for Air Slash as Zapdos is going to come out. Now, I could play a bit around with this Shaman and actually go for uh, Leech Seed because there's no way he's not roosting right here. There's no way he's not roosting. If I go out to Snorlax, literally... His Zapdos is literally at 36% for absolutely nothing, so there's no way he's not roosting. I decide to go directly into my Needle Queen. I am offensive. I expect him to roost. I can also take two Heat Waves depending on the rolls. So I did go right for the roost. Now I am modest Life Orb Needle Queen, and he does not appreciate this mod at all. So as opposed to going for Stealth Rock right here, I decided to go right for the Life Orb Ice Beam. I am Sheer Force, which is why you don't see the Life Orb, and he is offensive. So I am able to knock out Zapdos. Absolutely great. Victini is going to come out, and this is where my EV spread on Snorlax sucks because I was supposed to be Impish Nature. I made this really cool EV spread with Tony that's never, that pretty much does all purpose things that we needed to do. Takes on Victini, takes on Kingdra, takes on physical hits um, really, really well. But unfortunately, because I did not put the right nature on my Snorlax, this V create after Stealth Rock um, is going to be able to 2 kill me. So I unfortunately lost a Mon that would have been able to beat him. But I don't, I'm not too worried at all because Raikou is looking set up to sweep, especially with Zapdos gone. Zapdos could potentially roost on me, and Zapdos is being gone, so Raikou is looking set up. Uh, Sharpedo damages everything, and I do have the Earthquake for his defensive Quillfish, and all I gotta do is weaken him on top a bit. So I lost Snorlax, which like I said, dominated his team, but I had other ways of winning the game, which is why I wasn't too worried. So second V-Create is able to knock me out, as I am going to go right out into my Nidoqueen. Uh, I went out to Nidoqueen over Raikou because Raikou forces me to either go for Volt Switch, and if you go out to Rhyperior, I can't Oko it from full, since Rhyperior is usually specially defensive, and it can take one Life Orb HP Grass due to Solid Rock. So I go out to Nidoqueen, and there's no way he's going to let me kill his, um, or knock out his Victini, so I decided to go for Rocks as he switches out into his Togekiss. Good play on his part, because it would be able to dodge an Earth Power if I wanted to go for that. If I had Sludge Wave, I would go for it too, but I don't. So I am faster because I do run a bit of speed creep on this uh, Needle Queen to outspeed defensive Togekiss, Quillfish with speed, defensive Gligar, and uh, I am able to knock him out with the second Ice Beam as his Air Slash does not knock me out. Needle Queen is so bulky. I love this Mon in Black and White UU. So I'm able to get rid of Togekiss. Absolutely great. Um, another Mon that could deal with my Shaman as him on top is going to come out now. Uh, Earth Power is a 2 KO, so I am going to go for that. I didn't know if he had Sucker Punch or Mach Punch or not, and I didn't want him Rapid Spinning to gain HP, because if I went for Stealth Rock right here and he went for Rapid Spin, he'd be gaining back 6% 6 per turn. Um, and my goal was to keep the Hitmon top low enough to the point where I can just knock it out with Life Orb Thunderbolt or Life Orb Extra Sensory from my Raikou. So I decided to go for Earth Power right here as he does reveal the Sucker Punch. Had I went for Stealth Rock, I would have been able to keep them up and knock him out with Earth Power depending on rolls. But now... I can go right out to Raikou, and he can't, basically he can't not go for close combat. Uh, if he doesn't go for close combat and I am sub my Raikou, I win. So, I am going to go for the extra sensory. The reason I went for that play is because it weakens Rhyperior to the point where uh, HP Grass knocks it out. It also hits um, Victini, though there was no way he was going Victini right there, especially because I was Raikou and... I'm Life Orb. I already know his choice banner just based on the damage he did to my Shaman, and the fact that he was able to kill Snorlax. So, uh, he makes a good double right here, predicts me to go out into my Gligar and goes out to Victini. Now, I could have went for the Earthquake right here. I definitely could have went for the Earthquake uh, because I could have tanked 1v create, but I honestly expected him to U-turn out, and I really, really, really wanted to stunt by SD passing to, uh, to Sharpedo because basically if he U-turned out right there into Quillfish on my Roost and I was able to get up the SD, I won't wish Sharpedo, and I really, really wanted to do that. So I decided to go for Roost here, that way I could tank his hit and knock him out Earthquake. Either way, Earthquake was probably my better play overall, but this is the best play, I think, as well, uh, just long jet, like, just for keeping my Gligar alive, that way I can pivot it into Rhyperior and just click Earthquake. So, I'm okay with him tricking me the, um, Choice Man, especially because now my Earthquake is more powerful. So, I decide to sack my Shaman because at this point, my Gligar does outspeed his Quillfish. I do have Speed Creep for that thing. And Shaman, though it does beat Rhyperior, all I need is a bit of damage off on his, um... All I need is a bit of damage off on his Rhyperior to win with Raikou anyway. So, I keep my Gligar because, like I said, it outspeeds... 
uh, uh, Quailfish. It does outspeed Victini after a drop. I actually have more speed than the standard spread. Standard Gligar with speed runs enough to outspeed uh, Victini after a V create drop, but I have more than that, so I will outspeed a Quailfish. And all I gotta do is get off a chip damage with Earthquake on my Perrier Quailfish anyway. So I'm able to go out to my Sharpedo after the drops, and I can go right for the Adamant Life Orb Earthquake. There's no way staying in. Even if he does, he goes down to Earthquake anyway because of the speed drop. I am faster as Quailfish is gonna come in, and look at that, it's gonna take half. It's going to take over half, and all I need is literally one hit on Rhyperior, which he is going to grant me right here. I am able to hit this thing with the Earthquake upon switching, and that is all the damage I need for my Raikou to win the game. So, I'm going to save my Sharpedo because it does outspeed Victini with Protect. It can outspeed the Quillfish and knock it out with Earthquake, and it can also threaten this thing with the Waterfall. He makes a nice double out into his Quillfish, either expecting Waterfall or just trying to threaten me a bit. Uh, there was no way I was going for Waterfall anyway because I had the safer win. And like I said, with that Choice Bandit boost, this Earthquake is going to do a hell of a lot as he's not able to kill me with Defensive Quillfish. And basically, this forces him to go out into potentially a Rhyperior Victini after. He decides to save his Quillfish maybe as an Intimidate fodder so that way my Sharpedo doesn't sweep him as he's able to knock me out with the V Create from his Victini which he switched in. But at this point, Life Orb HP Grass does knock out Victini at that range. It's a really safe no drawback play because it knocks out Quillfish at the range it's at and it also knocks out Rhyperior if he chose to switch into that. So able to knock this thing out with the HP Grass. He's going to go right out to Rhyperior. Maybe he's hoping it's HP Ice but no, it is HP Grass. I'm able to get rid of Rhyperior and his last is that Quillfish fish which will also go down to uh, HP grass if I want to go for it but of course Raikou is an Electro type I'm gonna go for Electro type move and I am able to get the KO on the quill fish so I ended up winning in UUPL finals um, it is a team it is a team tour though so the rest of my team has to win we are up to although I'll actually show you guys the uh, I'll show you guys it might as well should be right here uh, I'll show you guys who has to play but yeah, I ended up being Sniper. You played solid and gave me a first loss. Good game. Oh, apparently I was his first loss too. He, he'd been playing in, uh, really well throughout the tour. But basically, uh, this was... This is the rest of it. So I won, Anti won, and um, it just comes down to if we can get, I think, five wins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, five wins. Five wins ensures the, the week, and four wins means that we tie. But, uh, yeah, we have some great people playing, like Tony Flagon. So our entire team is pretty solid, and Mfuga usually plays really well. But, yeah, that's going to be the end of this um, commentary. Hope you guys all enjoy. Feel free, of course, to leave a like. Like I said, Subhub is going up later today. Don't fret. Subhub is going up later today because I missed it on Sunday, but I did say we would postpone it to the week. Um, hope you guys all enjoy. Feel free to like, subscribe, do your thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm messing up on words, but, yeah, later, guys.